way I met um, the Juicy Bananas was I, I had met a, a, a drummer at a 7-Eleven. I saw his drumsticks behind the counter. And he asked me, uh, I, I said, oh, you're a musician? And he said, yeah. So are you a musician? I said, yeah. So I said, well, what kind of music do you play? And he said, funk. And he asked me, what kind of music do you play? And I said, funk, uh, without really knowing anything about it. Mm -hmm. So the next day, I was invited to a rehearsal um, down, on, uh, uh, down in Inglewood and uh, ended up getting there late and having about 10 minutes to to um, rehearse for a, um, a show in front of 10,000 people at, at the uh, Watts Tower Festival. Um, Isn't that that really colorful um, piece of art that some guy built a long time ago? The well, Watts the Watts Tower. Towers, yeah, they're, they're down in South Central and it's in a big park and um, I was terrified because I was pretty much the only white kid there and up on stage in front of a lot of people throwing a lot of insults at me, basically saying, honky, get off the stage. And that's a perfect, um, perfect example of, of how I've, you know, conquered my fears and how I've walked through certain things to, you know, basically saying I could do something that I, I, I didn't know if I could do it and then uh, rising to the challenge and getting through the insults and, and the negativity and, and getting to the other side and uh, realizing my, my own potential. So did the audience end up welcoming you after you played for a little bit or what happened? Yeah, I got off the stage and I went directly into the audience and went and got a hot dog and was getting pats on the back and people were saying, you oh, know, you're pretty good for a white boy. <laughs> and uh, that set me off in, in three years of playing funk down in, in South Central. Um, in Inglewood and Watts. So that was my first experiences with, with music in Los Angeles.